Thanks for watching my video today. Let's see another integral. That what we call the Frulani integral, okay? Frulani, I don't know. Is my spelling correct? Okay? Frulani integral, okay? We call it Frulani integral. Then is the Frulani integral is nothing but the integral from 0 to infinity of f of ax minus f of bx upon x dx is nothing but f of infinity minus f of 0 f of infinity minus f of 0 log of natural log of a over b okay this is what we call the Frulani integral okay you can prove in many ways okay this one you can prove in and many ways okay so anyway I'm going to use this way okay this way what we are trying to explain it now now let our integral to be i i of a b okay because a and b are constant okay i of a b is got integral from the to infinity of f of a x minus f of b x upon x dx okay equation one uh, well, i'm going to do the example for this okay or so in the next video okay at that time you can you may understand it so anyway let's prove this one now let's substitute that bx is equal to t okay t equal to bx well t is between 0 and infinity again okay therefore if you put ax okay ax is equal to a over bt okay a by bt i mean divide uh, okay right ax equal to a, a by bt a by b times t so if you differentiate it dx by x is equal to dt by b upon t by b which is dt by t okay i hope you may clear it this one here if you find out here x x is equal to uh, t by b right so ax is a by b t then you differentiate it again then you get this one dx by x then is if you differentiate dx is nothing but dt by b right upon x is nothing but t by b so b b cancer then you get dt by t again okay so our integral let's come to back or integral i i of a b is nothing but integral from 0 to infinity of f of a x is nothing but a by b t okay a by b t minus f of b x is nothing but t upon and uh, dt is nothing but okay maybe dx by x this one dx by x is nothing but dt by t again right dt by t now let's put that a by b is equal to alpha okay this is very important okay this one so put a by b is equal to alpha then you'll get i of a b is equal to integral from 0 to infinity of f of alpha t minus f of t by t dt then we call this to be i of alpha okay this depend on alpha now we are going to use Lebanese or again now difference with respect to alpha we have that di by d alpha this one okay di by d alpha is integral from 0 to infinity 1 over t if you come if you differentiate under the integral sign there will be the partial derivative okay partial derivative with respect to alpha of f of alpha t this one minus f of t where well, you know the alpha is a by b okay so d di by d alpha is integral from 0 to infinity of partial derivative of f of alpha t with respect to alpha then if you differentiate f of t with respect to alpha okay then you'll get this is zero again okay? right because differentiation of zero of constant is zero so that's why this part will be zero so this part will be here dt upon t okay dt by this t let me put equation two okay now we are going to use a chain rule chain rule we have that d del of f of alpha t upon del alpha is nothing but del f of alpha t by del of alpha t and del of alpha t by del alpha right such that these two can get cancer then you can get back this one this is what we call the chain chain rule okay the chain rule or chain rule right Okay, chain rule, using chain rule, so you get the law of f of alpha t by the law of alpha t. Uh, so, okay, this one, the derivative of alpha t with respect to alpha is just t. 
T will be there, right? So from Gaussian to this one, we have that d by d alpha is nothing but integral from 0 to infinity of del f of alpha t by del of alpha t into t, right? t by t into dt. So dt can get cancelled out here. So you'll get integral from 0 to infinity of del of f of alpha t by del of alpha t dt, right? So let's continue in the next place. Okay, here is the next place one. Okay, so di by d alpha is nothing but here 1 over alpha is there. 1 over alpha of integral from 0 to infinity of del of f of alpha t by del of alpha t d of alpha t. Okay, here not, this is nothing but how is this possible? Is that here, if you dif differentiation of dt, right, so alpha is just, just like a constant, right, so constant, so in order to get dt back, so I'm going to substitute here alpha again, right, d alpha is something like d of alpha t is nothing but alpha of dt, okay, where alpha is just a constant only, so in order to get back dt, okay, I'm going to divide it here, right, that, that is the reason. Okay, let's come here. Then this is 1 over alpha. Then this two can get cancer. So you'll get, right? This two can get cancer, same thing. Which is good, 1 over alpha, integral from 0 to infinity of d of f of alpha t. This is same thing as integration of dx only. This is nothing but x, right? Therefore, you'll get di by d alpha is equal to 1 over alpha f of alpha t. Right, from 0 to infinity, this is definite, right? 1 over alpha. So if you put t equal to infinity, then you get f of infinity minus, if you put 0, f of 0. Right, this is somehow similar with this now. Right, f of infinity minus f of 0, this one. Now we are going to get, what we are trying to get is this one only. Okay. Okay. Now, so, one is our original i. Yeah, or original i is this one, right? So here or this one, right? We integrate, we differentiate with respect to alpha, right? And but not that we differentiate with respect to alpha, right? So the meaning, meaning, or integral this one. This is our reserve. Okay, this is one is nothing but the derivative only. Okay the derivative of our integral i so they mean we this is not exactly okay now what we are trying to do this is just like a Feynman technique okay now integrate back now let's integrate back so integrate with respect to alpha we have that integration of d d d i by d alpha of d alpha is nothing but f of infinity minus f of zero of integration of d alpha by alpha okay then you get this one is this one cancel so differentiation the integration of dx is x like this integration of di is i so this is f of infinity minus f of zero of integration of this is integration okay integration sign integration of one over x is nothing but log x right natural log x log alpha plus constant of integration now to find out this c Let's put a and a equal to b, right? Then is alpha is equal to 1 and alpha equal to 1. a and b is equal to 1. Why alpha is equal to 1? Because of here. Now if you substitute to find out c, if you substitute a and a is equal to b, right? So if a and b is equal to that mean here f of ax minus f of ax, right? Since a and b are equal, so this will be 0. They mean our integral is zero, right? And since a and b are equal, so alpha will be just one, right? Therefore, i of a b is nothing but zero, which is f of infinity minus f of zero times natural log of one plus c. Where therefore c is zero. They mean our constant c is just zero. Therefore, our integral from zero to infinity of f of a alpha a x minus f of b x upon x dx is nothing but f of infinity minus f of 0 times 
log of alpha, right? Log of alpha, 1 is alpha. Alpha is A by B. Therefore, log of A by B. Okay? This is how I managed to prove it. Okay? This integral, this Fulani integral is very, very important. Okay? 